Oh yeah, what's happening YouTube? Thanks for coming by the channel, the home of the free dash cam giveaway where we give, a, give away a free dash cam every single month. Before we get into that, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the Uber driver app. Now this video will be really good for people that don't know how to use the app and it'll also be good for people that have already started to drive for Uber but don't have a great understanding of the app and is looking for more information on how to use the driver app. So my name's Nick, the Rideshare Hacker. Uh, thanks for coming by my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. My subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. Appreciate you following me, watching my videos, and uh, just supporting me on this journey. And to show my appreciation, as promised, we're giving away that dash cam, the free dash cam, every single month once we hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so, and make sure you ring the bell so you know when I'm giving it out, okay? So here is the dash cam. It's the Vancher, the N2. N2 Pro dash cam. Um, it's got a nice HD front camera and it also has a swivel head camera for the cabs for when you're inside to record you and your passengers to make sure your butt is covered in case anything bad happens. So with that being said, I'm gonna do a screen recording right now and we're gonna get into um, the Uber app and show you everything that's going on. And I really am excited because I'm gonna show you some cool stuff in here and I'm also gonna show you uh, one of my best drives ever. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want to share that with you. So right now, I'm going to start the screen recording, um, and we're recording right now. So what you see right here is the Uber app. Uh, up top, you see the $61.46. That is how much I've earned so far today. Um, we can go into that, and it says today, four trips completed for $61.46. Three, six, and the last trip, that was a cancellation. So let's go into the earnings. And Uber XL rider canceled. I'm at the airport right now, by the way. Um, got back in line. I didn't get re-pinged. Re so now I'm back in line again, unfortunately. Uh, it's not the first time this has happened, but it does happen from time to time. You will be at the airport. A rider will cancel after you've accepted the trip. You'll be out of the queue. They cancel and you don't get re reassigned a ride. So that happens and you just have to eat it. So, and then there was a $14.99 XL trip, consecutive trip for $11.50. Very happy about that this morning because that's pretty good. Uh, UberX for $14, UberX for $5, and UberX for $12.28 with the surge attached. So right here you can go through and you can see all your earnings. Um, it gives you the days. It'll just keep going back. That was Saturday. Today's uh, Tuesday. That was Friday. Thursday. Wednesday. You can keep going back. But this is this um, video is not about earnings. If you want to see my earnings, definitely click on the link up here. Uh, it'll take you to all my earnings that I get for get with Uber. If you want to see those. So when you click on the money up top, it brings down the menu. Here you can see uh, the last trip. All right. If you scroll to the, if you swipe left, now you bring up today. You see the money you made for today, the four trips and everything. Uh, you can see your your quest. Everybody will have a weekly quest. You can find it up here in the menu as well. Uh, and then Uber Pro status. It'll tell you where your, where your status is at. If you want to see your progress in Uber Pro, you go ahead and click see progress. It's going to bring up uh, where you're at. So I'm no longer gold because my cancellation rate is so high. I need to get my cancellation rate back down to uh, 4%. Right now, everything else is good. Uh, my points are good. My star rating is good. My acceptance rate is good. My cancellation rate sucks. How Uber Pro works. If you want to figure it out, you go ahead and go in there. Um, here's a quick one. You need to have a 4.85, 4 I have a 4.96, that's good. Get rewards, you have blue, gold, platinum, and diamond. I've never made diamond. Actually, I was on diamond. No, I was on platinum, but my cancellation rate took me right out of that. And it's a three-month rolling window. So every three months is how it's calculated. Um, and then you can see right here uh, your promotions, the blue promotions, blue your blue rewards, access on blue crest, Quest promotions up to 1.5% cash back on gas, which now because of that, I think I'm going to get the Lyft card, the Lyft debit card. And when you use the Lyft debit card, you get 5% cash back on gas. That's really good. And even if I was to hit gold, um, you can get 25% off maintenance as well. Even if I was to hit gold status, you're still only getting 3% uh, back on gas. But now if you look, when you hit gold, there's a lot more going on. Um, the quest promotions will be more. Now you get a hundred, and you also get tuition coverage, one hundred percent tuition coverage at ASU Online. 
Uh, see direction and estimated time of trips before you accept. Ooh, see direction, huh? That's kind of new. I don't think I ever saw direction before. I only saw the duration. Uh, yeah, because it'll only tell you the duration, not the direction until you until you accept the trip. I mean, until you pick up the passenger. Uh, free 24-7 roadside assistance. That's really good. Recognition in your driver's app. Guys, you can keep going through here if you want to see more about the Platinum uh, and other, and other um, Diamond rewards. Um, but you can also get help down here. There's more rewards for Stride health plans, uh, phone plan discounts, finance and taxes, Uber Visa debit card. Okay. So that's what you can see up there. Uh, if you want to, oh, everybody always asks me about this. Like, how do you? So I drive Uber XL. I don't really drive in the. Um, I don't really drive in the Uber X category. There's 151 cars in Uber X. I'm just not going to do it right now. Um, maybe if it surges, I'll take one. But everyone always asks me, how do you switch out of that? So you have to go in the lower right hand corner, the three lines right down here. Okay, lower three lines. Um, let me get a little bit closer. <clears throat> so you, then you click the lower icon in the right lower right hand corner, right? So we go the lower three lines, it brings up the, the menu here. Uh, then the lower right hand corner, a little icon. And uh, now you can see, I can turn on Comfort and I can turn on Uber X and Pool. I don't want those right now because I drive premium modes typically. All right, so I'm gonna save that. So keep it there. Um, you can see your drive time. This is one thing I really love about the, uh, the Uber app and uh, something that the Lyft app doesn't have. So the Uber driver app, you can go in here and you can find your drive time. So I have five hours and 52 minutes remaining. Because they only give you, Uber only gives you 12 hours of drive time uh, before you have to take an eight hour break. At least in the state of Massachusetts. I don't know what it's like in your state. Definitely let me know. By the way, if you're an Uber driver, go ahead and comment yes in the description below uh, in the comments. And if you're not, comment no. I really just wanna know who I'm talking to and who's here and, and what you're looking for. And also, if you have any questions that I don't cover in this, uh, feel free to ask the question in the comments. I will definitely reply and get back to you on it, okay? Promise. Uh, we can also see upcoming promotions here. So $20 extra by, oh, that's my quest, uh, 750 uh, consecutive trip bonus. So that's later on today. I won't be, that, be there because I'll have my daughter with me. Uh, and then you can also go through the days and you can see what kind of uh, promotions are coming up. Here's a good one on Thursday. Make $12 extra for three trip series, uh, 7 to 9 a.m. That's a really good one. When they get up to the $10, $11, $12, I really suggest that you take advantage of those Quest promotions. Any better light here? Or is that worse? I don't know. Uh, what else do we have going on in the app? Um, search. Oh, this little uh, magnifying glass. So that's when you can put in your, your destination. There's my, there's my home, my destination. You can use that if you want, uh, just about any time. The shield here, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, that's for safety. Okay, so that's your that's your quick like safety. Uh, you need 911 assistance or you need, um, or follow my ride, you wanna set that up, you can. Up here, the, the uh, magnifying glass, that's your destination mode. Uh, up here, now we can get into uh, all, the good, all the other good stuff. So you click right here, you can see your status on blue. Um, you know, I haven't done, with the thumbs up here, this one, I haven't done anything. This is for Uber Eats. I haven't done any Uber Eats. You can click on your, your star rating. You can see what kind of ratings you've, you've received. 489 five-star ratings. Um, that's pretty good. My acceptance rate. You can see your acceptance rate. It'll tell you how many you accepted, how many you've declined. Um, and then your cancellation rate, which mine is really bad. October 6th through November 5th. So it looks like a 30 day window. So hopefully I can start accepting more rides and not canceling and then uh, and then my cancellation rate will go down and then I can get uh, back, to, back to gold status. Love that gold status. I really love seeing how long your trips are. Like that is such a good perk but I really, and I really miss it. But out of there, oh, let's go over here. So, and then you can go to promotions. That's the same thing we've already seen. Uh, you can go to inbox. You can see if you have any you know, it tells you where you receive tips. It gives you any other other messages that you might need to hear. Um, let's go back to inbox. What's the help? So inbox, go to help. Okay, go to help too. Uh, if you ever have problems with your trips, um, then we go to earnings. You can see how much I made this week. Earnings details, recent transactions, promotions. 
Uber Pro, um, if you want to invite people to drive with you, uh, you go to here, uh, you can send invites. And this is really cool, guys. I really highly suggest it. Okay, you can go to send invites and you can send it to your friends, any of your contacts. Um, it's really cool to do that because you get you get um, you get a bonus, right? You get a referral bonus. Like it's almost like a commission. It's almost a commission. Sorry, I got somebody's headlights. I'm at the airport right now. And this guy's got his headlights on. They're going in my face. Um, you can get commissions. So if people sign up to drive with you, you, you can earn commissions. And I really highly suggest that you you learn how to do this. Um, if you need to learn more about it, definitely subscribe. Definitely pay attention to my videos. Go to my social media. Um, everything's in the link in the description below. Just go to the description. If you want to be an Uber driver and you need coaching, definitely use my link. I'll give, I'll give you free coaching when you use my link to sign up and drive. Anybody that's watching this that is already signed up with me, you know you've gotten coaching. Or if you haven't, you need to hit me up so I can help you out. Reach out with any questions. I'm always here to help. Guys, this is a lot of money you can be making. Um, let's see how much I've made so far. So I've made nine goals. I've had nine people sign up and complete, and it's earned me $4,300 so far this year. So that's really good. That's a huge advantage for driving with Uber. Huge advantage, all right? And you have to learn how to do that. So in today's world, you got to learn how to how to get these links, how to use these affiliate links to make some money, all right? That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do with myself and my business. Um, I'm sitting here in my car waiting for my next trip, but at the same time, I'm, I'm working on my internet marketing business. I'm building an, uh, an online empire is what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm building a following an online empire so I can make more money online. And I think you should too, because I think our whole world, the whole, our, our country is moving into this direction. People will start losing their jobs. And if you don't know how to make money online, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble. I really think that you should do this. We're in the middle of a, of a, a funnel bubble, a sales funnel bubble. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely subscribe to uh, this channel, subscribe to my Instagram and my Facebook. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Uh, other than that, you can go to your account down here. You can. This is where you can upload documents. You can uh, edit your payment amount, your payment information, like what bank you want it to go to. Uh, you can edit your account. You can't edit your name, but you can change your number and your email, your home address. That's definitely not my home address anymore, so I should take that. I should uh, change that. I'm not going to do that right now. Insurance. Um, this is where you can go to get a report from uber on on the on the insurance coverage that they give you by the way you need to have ride share insurance if you get into an accident uber will cover your uber's only going to cover your passenger they're not going to cover you in your car so keep that in mind you need to have ride share insurance because if your insurance company finds out that you if you're at fault in an accident and your insurance company finds out that you were uh, fraudulent they have the right to deny you coverage i know people have gotten screwed they've gotten into an accident and their insurance didn't cover it because they were being fraudulent and not reporting that they were a rideshare driver. That's the best tip of this video. So I want you to be safe. Accessibility, uh, or no, was it app settings? So you go into app settings, here's where you can turn on and off the voice. Um, voice navigation, yes, okay. Um, and then for navigation, I choose Uber navigation just because when I, I need Uber navigation sometimes when I get close to the close to the end of the trip, it just is a better pinpoint. It gives me the it gives me the exact destination. Um, other than that, I use Waze, accessibility, vibration for requests, screen flash for requests, um, and just some accessibility things. You can change you can fall you can change these around. Uh, night mode, automatic, speed limit. Yes, I like having this there. It tells me when I'm going five miles per hour over uh, just to keep me in check. And that's about it. Guys, if you have any other questions, what's going on, um, I'm going to try at the end of the video, I'm going to put, I'm going to show you a screen recording of what it looks like when I accept a video, uh, accept uh, a ride and pick up. Okay, so we're going to try and put that in there. Don't have that just yet. It's super easy though. When a ride comes up, it just flashes on the screen and... Um, and you just you just tap it you just tap it to accept it or there'll be a decline button up in the upper left and then you decline it uh other than that i know people are gonna have some other questions i know you're gonna have some questions so definitely put them in the comments below by the way give me a thumbs up if you like the video really would appreciate that i need a big thumbs up for this one um and and, and let me know if you have any other questions that, and, and that's really it guys if you um 
just let me know what's going on and i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching peace